What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on the TI Inspire calculators. In the last few videos we've been installing the TI Inspire computer link software, the, the CAS student software, that sort of thing. And uh, now I want to get into more and more of the meat and the core of why I'm recording these tutorials. I want to introduce you guys to Endless. And uh, you can go ahead and Google this if you'd like. Head on over to Google. And uh, Endless is spelt without an E in this case, because it's some software for the TI Inspire that doesn't have an I to inspire. And the, this is not spelled with the E for Endless. It's just N D L E S S. Endless. <laughs> and uh, you'll notice it, it, there's a, a WordPress kind of blog about it. And it, it's pretty awesome. It's the TI Inspire wide open, and that's what they kind of advertise it as. Finally, version 3.6 is here. This just came out just recently you know, over in March, March 15th, 2014. It's April 15th now, just about. So we're finally excited to release uh, version 3.6, the latest and greatest version of Endless. Now, the TI Inspire operating system has been at version 3.6 for quite a while now, and Texas Instruments was not allowing you to downgrade. Um, only version 3.1 for Endless was out, version 3.6 was not out yet, and it would not, version 3.1 would not work with the TI Inspire operating system of version 3.6. That just makes sense, right? The numbers don't match up. But you had to have, be, you had to be using the operating system version 3.1 to run Endless. But finally, this version is here, and now we can run it on all the calculators version 3.6, and we don't have the problem of not being able to downgrade and, and really be screwed. So this version opens the way for native programs to the latest generation of TI Inspire hardware sold with the locked version OS uh, 3.2, for many of which you couldn't downgrade. We now encourage all of you to update to the latest OS version, version 3.6, and keep it, because we still don't know what to expect. So they really give credit to the awesome people that had made this. Uh, there's tons of programs and things available for it. Um, the 3.1 version programs will work, except some of them might need an update. And uh, they note that this installation is non-persistent or non-reboot proof, so it, you might have to you are going to have to reinstall Endless over and over again whenever you turn your calculator on or uh, any, anything goes wrong. That isn't a problem, though, because you do keep the file on your calculator, so whenever you need to enjoy Endless, you would just run the program and then do anything that you need to do with Endless. So Endless is now distributed from its dedicated site, endless.me, and uh, they, they wrote a nice little inst uh, tutorial to guide you through installation. So let's check it out. Let's head on over to endless.me. And uh, you'll notice this is a pretty nice web page, probably on your end. It's a little scrunched together on my screen because i got to resize things so you guys see it all well. But endless possibilities. You can install new applications on your calculator, image viewers, emulators to play games, video players, text editors, and, and so much more. You can even program on the thing. There's extensions. There's USB devices work. And it's the very best for your TI Inspire. That's kind of cool. Um, uh, scroll down here, it does show an endless SDK, or a software development kit. You can develop your own applications in C and C++. There is a source code editor available for Windows. That's why I'm on Windows, and the audio quality and video quality is so terrible. Um, but we're going to get into the SDK very, very soon. Right now, we should just download the package. Let's download Endless version 3.6. You can uh, click on this tab right here to Endless it. And that'll bring you over to uh, NSP Tools over here and just uh, a list of downloads. We'll click on this um, zip file. We'll want to download that. We can go ahead and uh, open the file with winrar.zip. Winrar, that's what I have installed right now. I'm using that to extract things. And I'm just going to bring it over to my desktop, drag it down, and leave that installed. Now, if you notice, I've got that. I'll put it right over here so you can see it. I just have it extracted to my desktop. Nice. Okay. Let's keep moving. If we go back to the previous page, there is an installation guide that we can follow, and that'll link us over to tiplanet.org. Typically, this is in French, but if we scroll down, the text right here is in English. There is a tutorial available for version 3.6. This is what we're going to be following. It's sim pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, for one thing, you have to download the package, which is what we just did. Endless 3.6, which you can download here. It really gives you the same link, or at least host it on their web page. 
and uh, it'll work on the click pad, touch pad, whether CX cast or, or non cast. There's a video tutorial for it, which I recommend you watch because it will do more justice than whatever I'm saying. But make sure that your TI Inspire handheld is running version 3.6. That is the case for my black CX cast. And for the student software that I installed recently, uh, you know, as like I showed you, um, I am running version 3.6. And I'm assuming if you're following this tutorial, you are as well. Uh, you'll notice over here uh, in my emulator, I can go into settings, check the status of this, and this is version 3.6. So I have the same on my calculator. It's version 3.6.5. 5, 4, 6, I think. It, either of them work, as long as you're running version 3.6. You can go ahead and download the operating system um, available on the web page here, or you can probably find it on ed education.ti.com, like we were doing in the earlier videos. And you're going to want the computer link software, which is why we already downloaded it. So I'll get that fired up. That's the student software. Uh, we do want the link software as well. Okay, get the computer link software ready for us and uh, connect your, your TI Inspire or your calculator and grab that. And let's go back to the guide, see what it has us do. Plug your calculator and go to the Content Explorer tab, which is uh, really over on this side on the bottom over here. It says create an endless folder and transfer the required files. At the root of your Inspire, create a folder called Endless. And we can do that by right clicking down at the bottom here right clicking and selecting new folder and we can call it endless just like that and uh, you might notice on your calculator screen your actual handheld that it will say okay folder created or files dropped very soon and we'll transfer over these files that we had in the folder that we just downloaded the one that's on my desktop um, it says that these are in the calc bin directory in the package and I can see that right here. Let's click on that. And here are all the things that it just said that we would need to copy. So if we have our handheld right over here in the endless folder, let's drag these right over into here. You can see it copies them all. And now they've been successfully placed. You can even see on your handheld that it is, is uh, showing that on the screen of your calculator. And now, once that's done, go on to your actual handheld and go on to the calculator. You might be able to hit control O to go to uh, your, your documents. Go over to your endless folder and go ahead and click enter on the endless installer. You don't have to save anything that you're already working on if you had an open document or an unsaved document. And um, hopefully if you've got everything working just fine you can go ahead and uh, hit the menu key so everything is installed. Thankfully, uh, it should successfully say, uh, it, it should return you back to the black home screen and it will say in green letters, Endless has been successfully installed over at the top left corner of the screen. So that's the way it should work. Um, if you if you do uh, experience any issues, um, you can just kind of go ahead and restart at step five once you have all the files copied over to the handheld. And um, it notes that anything you put in a startup folder inside the endless one can automatically be launched. You can kind of customize your install. And if you ever need to, you can uninstall by pressing the U key. So that should work relatively well for, for you. <laughs> in the next tutorial, we'll be looking at really uh, more things that we can do with this. We'll finally start to install the SDK or the software development kit. And we'll see what programming stuff we can do and what more we can do with this tool and with this program. So... Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.